colleagues and friends, um, thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words at your conference. My name is Mathieu Denis. I work at the International Science Council headquarters in Paris, France. The International Science Council was created in July 2018 as the merger between the International Council for Science, which roughly speaking uh, grouped the organizations in the natural sciences, and the International Social Science Council, which uh, represented the social science disciplines. The combination brought together something like 40 disciplinary uh, unions, such as the uh, International Geographical Union, as well as uh, national organizations such as academies or research councils in about 140 countries. And so effectively, we've now created the world's largest non-governmental international science organization. Uh, and it's the only one who brings together the natural and the social sciences at such a, uh, at such a scale. The new organization, the new council, has the mission of advancing science as a global public good, and I would add, for the public good. There's a large portfolio of activities, of initiatives. Some of you may know some of our programs, such as Future Earth, uh, the Integrated Research on Disaster Risk Program, or Urban Health and Wellbeing, um, and, and a lot of others. Um, and, but since its creation, the council has also published an action plan, which identifies four domains within which the international scientific community must now come together and have an impact. Those four domains pertain to the Agenda 2030 for sustainable development, the digital revolution, science and policy in public discourse, which is where we look at things like science in and for the United Nations and, and, and global policy processes, but things also like the public value of science. And finally, the fourth domain, the evolutions in science systems, looking at things like incentives um, or p uh, persistent inequalities in science systems. And for each of those four domains of impact, the Council has now announced, initiated, uh, a series of new uh, programs and initiatives that are all interdisciplinary, truly interdisciplinary, bringing together the large, a large scope of disciplines and expertise, and that are all international. So let me finish here by um, um, asking you to become involved in the Council's activity or remain involved in them if you already are, and please visit our website. Have a very nice conference. Thank you. Hello Geography colleagues, I'm Ruth Fincher, Professor of Geography at the University of Melbourne in Australia and a past Vice President of the IGU. I'm currently a member of the Governing Board of the International Science Council, which is why I'm speaking to you today. I'm pleased to say that there are some great synergies between the research of geographers at your IGU conference and the work of the International Science Council. Your conference has as its title, Agriculture, Food, water, biodiversity and health in a changing climate. It's auspiced by several IGU commissions whose members are coming together to discuss these matters. Its special sessions consider disaster risk and resilience and urban health and wellbeing and how these are affected by the changing climate. They also take up the connection of geographic research with the UN's Sustainable Development Goals and the big international environmental research program Future Earth. These topics connect with the interests of the International Science Council, the ISC, very directly. You can see that the kinds of complexity that are core to geographical science, as it connects the perspectives and data of natural and social sciences, and as it observes the operation of processes in places and regions, are central also to ISC's current mission. The ISC also co-sponsors a number of major international research programs that are important to the IGU's commissions and their members. Geographers have much to contribute to the world scientific community, of which the International Science Council is a leader. Through IGU's membership of the ISC and through the regional office of the ISC for Asia, which is based in Malaysia, you can express your interest in these topics and extend your networks globally. 
The IGU is part of the International Science Council's regular assemblies and decision-making bodies, and ISC's regional office in Asia offers workshops and on-the-ground networking and engagement, of which you can take advantage. I hope that those of us in geography will take up more and more the opportunity to contribute through the ISC to those things that both it and the ISC hold to be important in the world's science.